Our live team coverage continues right now. Caroline Forbeck is outside in the cold, live in Wilkes-Barre for us. Caroline, take it away. Josh, hello. Well, as you know, it is brutally cold out here tonight, so imagine not being able to just go home and turn on the heat. That's the reality many people experiencing homelessness are facing tonight, and volunteers at local shelters are doing what they can to help. I could barely walk. I was so cold. The frigid temperatures on Monday remind Joyce Lawn of being on the street with no winter coat and nowhere to go after losing her house. It was just before Thanksgiving. It was cold that night and I walked the streets of Wilkes-Barre for almost six hours and I was very cold and um, I think about that all the time. That was the night she arrived at Ruth's place. It's the only emergency 24-7 homeless shelter for women in Luzerne County. Crystal Kotlowski, NEPA Director for Volunteers of America, Pennsylvania, says she's concerned for the safety of anyone unsheltered in the cold. Their safety, their physical well-being, that they have the supplies they need or that they get into a shelter as soon as possible. Um, the temperatures being like this is very, very dangerous for their health and their safety. Ruth's Place sees more women in the colder months. Right now, they're pushing capacity with 16, but they try not to turn anyone away. Lawn says she's grateful to be out of the cold, especially on a night like this. Places like this so needed, and when I hear people calling, that, and those phones ring all the time for people looking for a place to sleep. She says volunteers at the shelter are helping her get back on her feet. In six months, I'm coming back as a volunteer. You know, I want to be here. I, I want to be here because this is, it saved my life. You can find more information about homeless assistance programs on our website, pahomepage.com. For now, reporting live here at Wilkes-Barre, Caroline Forback, 2822 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Caroline.